guys, I'm asking the question. Is Calchara worth it for your account? Let's talk about it. How y'all doing? Welcome to Mobile Trash Season 6. I'm back with another Gosh Darn Dang episode. Today we got a good show for you because we're going to be talking about one of the games that we've been covering probably for about a month. Wuthering Waves is a game that we've been covering probably, we're, we're pushing in two months now. We are pushing in two months. We're going to keep covering it. Y'all are enjoying the content. I'm going to keep putting it out. Also, today we're going to be starting a little mini-series on the podcast show. Now, I've never done a mini-series before in my entire life of my entire three years of podcasting, you know. I've always done, you know, five-part finales, you know, maybe, maybe there's a marathon for a whole week of this certain artist, but I've never in my life have done a mini-series, but we're going to start one today. Today, the first, uh, I guess, series, mini-series, we're going to be talking about all the characters in Wuthering Ways. We're going to be giving character reviews. This will also carry on to Zenla Zone Zero. So we'll be doing character reviews for Zenla Zone Zero once that game comes out, once I start getting the characters, when I start gambling, you know, because you always, you always got to gamble in these games. But, you know, I'll start gambling, you know, I'll pick a few characters or whatever, and then we're going to review all those characters. So, guys, if you're on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, wherever you get your podcasts at, make sure you follow Make sure you hit the notifications button because, guys, I'm putting out content every single gosh darn dang. All right, it's Monday right now, Tuesday. It does not matter, all right? There will be something out for the show. So make sure you follow. Make sure you stay notified for your favorite show. And let's get into this. Is Cal Charles worth it? Let's talk about it. So we got some categories here, all right? We got a couple of categories, and then I'll give you my overall view, a review, and then... Guys, we are bringing the tier list fully on this mini-series, so we're going to be having a character, overall gotcha character, like, uh, tier list. We're going to go from S to F. I will tell you, I'll give you my opinion, who I think, you know, deserves to be in the tier, you know? I'm going to be fully honest with you, all right? I always tell the gosh darn dang truth about anime games, you know? Just how it is. Anyways... Let's get into this. Let's talk about it. Let's t- start off with character design. Now, I got three points for you. As I always do, I got a couple of points I want to share. A few points, you could say, if we're adding three on there. Now, let's start off with my first point. I really, really, really enjoy the character design here. All right? It looks good. It looks powerful. It, it, it looks like it could grab you up. And shred you apart. The character design of Calcharo is some of the best gotcha designs that I've probably seen. All right, let's be honest here. Most characters suck most of the time. All right, most characters got you know they look weak. I'm sorry, you know some of the male characters in the other in the other games, you know like Honkai and uh, Star Rail, Genshin Impact, stuff like that. Look, guys, they don't. They look weak. They don't look powerful. They look like I could step on them and they're dead. I'm just going to be fully honest with you. But with Cal Charo, Cal Charo adds a different kind of twist to it, all right? It's kind of got a Metal Gear vibe. It's kind of got, it, it's got all kinds of vibes here, all right? You know, it's, it's kind of got, it's got like a dark, like a dark vibe. I, I don't know, all right? All I know is this. Calchar's design is some of the best that I've seen. Some of the best that I really recommend that. I Hopefully more male uh, characters keep following this qu- quota. Because this quota of just making these characters look strong, making these characters, you know, sound like they could actually, you know, do something around here, you know? You know, I'll be honest with you. A lot of characters in the other games, you know, it, it just could be better. It just could be better. And these and that's what I like about Wuthering Waves, because Wuthering Waves puts a cool factor into this anime game. Because let me be honest with y'all. Every time I get caught playing anime games, I, I feel like I've committed a sin. I, I'm just gonna be straight with you. Alright? I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest with you. So, but this game, if I ever got caught playing this game, I wouldn't be mad at it or whatever, you know? Because this game looks cool. 
All right, this game looks like it could. It looks like a game. Looks like a full fledged, you know. Looks like a game. All right, it doesn't look like a Zelda game, if you know what I mean. Something that I really enjoy. My next point is I really enjoy the lightning ab abilities here. I like the lightning powers that this character has. Now, I've always been a big fan of kind of Electro-type units and stuff like that, but I'll be honest with y'all. A lot of electro units, they suck. They 100% suck, all right? They're either four stars, and they either, you know, can't do much damage, you know, no matter how much you build them. You could build these characters if you wanted to, if you wanted to make them do more damage. But why in the Lord would you build them? I mean, let's be honest. Why in the Lord would you even build them? You wouldn't build them. You wouldn't do it. All right, I didn't do it. You didn't do it. All right, your uncle didn't do it. Hey, I'm sorry. Here's what it is. Now, another point. Well, not another point. We're going to keep going with this, all right? I really like the lightning effects here because the lightning effects really hit home. The lightning effects actually, you know, stand out here. They look really cool. When you pop off your ultimates and stuff like that, you put the transition abilities in there. I mean, Lord mighty, it gets it cracking, it gets it going. And you're just going to have a good gosh darn dang time. Now, I really enjoy the electrical abilities. They're really good. And uh, if I was just raiding, if I was just raiding powers in this game, you know, the electric units are definitely going to be up. Probably, if I'm putting them in a tier list from S to F, they're probably going to go on the A tier. And why do I say A tier? Because I just feel like it's a fun play style to play as. I like how you can just get on there and you can just kill everything. All right. I look how I like how it looks. I like how it feels. It's powerful. The electric com combos are absolutely gosh darn dang insane. Now, my final point, my final point about the character design, it's, it's going to be simply like this, all right? I really, really enjoy the samurai slash kind of Metal Gear Solid look this character has. I've always been a fan of these type of characters, all right? That's the reason why I'll probably be playing, I'll probably be doing a review of the new Assassin's Creed game, all right? Let me be honest with you. That play style, that samurai that kind of sword kind of main ability that I really enjoy playing. Hey, if they got it in this game, good. Thank Lord. I mean, let me tell you something. I really wish there was even more samurai stuff here. I wish there's, you know, some ninja characters or something like that. I mean, add, add that. Add that. Come on, Wuthering Waves. I mean, come on. I mean, you don't really need it, but, you know, just... All, all, all you really need is just hot women on there. I get that. But, uh, hey, come on. Be different, Kuro Games. Be gosh darn dang different. Now, something that I really enjoyed, too, is that the Metal Gear and kind of nin Samurai style effect that I really enjoy, it just really hits home. I mean, guys, it really, really, really hits home. All right, you know, I feel like I'm sometimes, you know, I, I just feel like sometimes it's just really good. I mean, even, you know, the combos you do with the sword, you're kind of slashing enemies and all that guy star day type of stuff. I mean, yeah, it's just really good. <laughs> it is really guys darn dang good. <laughs> now, next, next category we're going to talk about, guys, I really want to start complaining. Let's talk about the things I don't like about the character. Because look, not every character is perfect. Not every character is going to scratch that itch. Not every character is going to hit the same. Let's just be honest here. Nothing in this world is perfect. Alright? That Bud Light I was drinking this morning, it could have been a better Bud Light. It could have been in the fridge. It could have been cold. But it's okay. Some things just ain't perfect. But we deal with it. And you have to deal with the imperfectness of this character. So let's talk about some of the things that I really don't enjoy about this character. Number one, I feel like the hard-to-learn character is probably some of the worst ways to get into the character. And what do I mean by that? Let me explain that. It's simply this. If your character is hard to learn, most likely I'm not going to spend the time to play him. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I don't have five hours to play this game all the time. 
I don't have six hours to learn this character's combos and abilities. And I'm not saying that you need all that time for Wuthering Waves. I put that time in there, but that's because I'm getting paid to put that time in there. All right? You're not doing that. So, most likely, the hard to use, the hard to learn characters just ain't going to be played much. And I feel like, too, with it so hard to learn the char this character, because let me be honest with you, he's kind of slow. He's not a fast unit. He feels heavy when you play him, all right? Hey, it's just like me going to McDonald's, all right? There's a big old run in there, and, you know, I come out there, and I'm feeling heavy. I'm feeling really heavy, all right? It's the same way you're going to be playing Calcharo and Weathering Waves. You're going to be feeling heavy. It feels heavy to run around. It feels heavy to, you know, to dodge around, sprint around, all that type of gosh darn dang stuff. Now... That's also my next point, my second point. You know, I really wish, I kind of wish there was like boots. There was like boots you can earn in the game. And what do I mean by that? Can I get this guy's speed up? Why is this man so slow? All right, some of these enemies are moving 60 miles an hour. Some of them 90. Some of them one-shot you if you don't press the button perfectly. Why is he so slow? That makes no sense. Like, why in the Lord is he so slow? It, it, it just drives me insane. It, it feels like I'm playing with a guy who has a full suit of armor. He doesn't have a full suit of armor. This guy has a sword. You can't tell me this. I just... It's just annoying, alright? Because these... Enemies are exactly going 90 miles per hour. They will one-shot you and all that type of stuff. And I just honestly feel like sometimes he is too gosh darn dang slow. Let me speed him up. Give me the opportunity to speed him up. Let me use my premium currency. Let me gamble for it. Let me gamble for the speed. I'll take that. All right, because I, I don't get lucky in gambling, but you know. But I try my best. All right. <sighs> Let's not talk about the other game I was talking about, you know, when I was, you know, $40 in deep and I didn't get what I wanted. We, we don't want to talk about that game, uh, Honkai Star Rail, but, uh, yeah. Look, I, I, I'm a little lucky in gambling, but it, it just doesn't hit the same. Now, I, I, I really wish also a thing that I don't like, too, about Calcharo is that, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I feel like sometimes when I'm playing him, I just I, I can't really use him to his full potential. And what do I mean by that? It's, it's just because I I always have to transition with Calcharo. I always have to pop my alt off, all that type of stuff. Man, it, it sometimes just feels like pop ult, pop ult, pop ult to do damage. And sometimes if I don't pop the ult. I'm usually switching out of Calcharo and I'm picking somebody else to do more damage or whatever. You know, that could be my fault. I could be building him wrong. I, that's why I never released my building guide for Calcharo because I honestly didn't know how to build him. And then I learned he was pretty complicated and I was playing him wrong. And then I was like, it's 13 minutes in. I was like, fuck this shit. I'll be honest with you. I just, it just drives me insane sometimes. I'll, I'll be fully real with you. Now, now we could talk about some other things and stuff like that, uh, like how I feel like sometimes his ult kind of delayed. I like it's just weird. Like sometimes when I'm fighting a boss, I just feel like every time I hit his ultimate, sometimes it's like delayed, a and it just drives me insane. I don't know if that's a latency issue. I don't know if it's just because it's a latency issue, and I'm just I, it's not pressing the button because I am playing on mobile. I am 100% playing on mobile, but also I, I just feel like it could be way better. I feel like it could. Now, let's talk about the combat. The combat is really gosh darn engaging, so let's talk about it. The combat is engaging. It's challenging. You need to learn how to use this unit, this unit, that unit, that unit. You need to learn all of that stuff. You need to combo right. And he takes some skill to use, which I really gosh darn dang enjoy. Look, I love it when a character is challenging to use. You know, 
I'm more of a hardcore player, I guess you could say. And I really enjoy the challenge. I really love figuring out the combos and all of that type of gosh darn dang stuff. Now, my next point, ultimates, they hit different. There's different ultimates, the transition ultimates, the ultimate, the ultimate combos. It is just gosh darn dang insane. Overall, guys, should you build them, I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give you my opinion, and uh, I'd say yes, but only if you were able to get Yi Lin. I feel like he's a very easy unit to get power crept in the future. What do I mean by that? Some other people have said that he's power crafts some content creators and stuff like that. Personally, I don't believe it because I go insane anyways with Calcharo. But I could see in the future a better Calcharo type unit comes out and just stomps Calcharo out of the whole game. Very easy, easy unit to get power crap in the future. But if you have Yilin selected Calcharo, then yes, you should definitely build him. Make him a priority unit because these two together are absolutely insane. Overall, let's go over the tier list. What do you think? Let's do it. The ultimate character tier list for gotcha games. We go from S to F. <clears throat> Calcharo is probably going to go on the A tier. Why do I say A tier? I feel like how Charo is a pretty solid unit. The combos and all that stuff really work together, and they really come in handy. But also, I put him on A because I could see him being moved down to B. I could see him being moved down to C in the future. So I'm going to put him on A, but that could change in the future. Guys, what do you think about Kacharo? Do you love Kacharo? Do you hate Kacharo? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for listening. If you're on Spotify, Pandora, Wherever you get your podcast at, make sure you follow. Make sure you hit the notifications button because I'm coming out with content all of the gosh darn dang time. And, yeah, I'll see you all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.